The next part of this session is Campus Insider's Sneak Peek. Raihan and Jocelyn, please. Hello, everyone. My name is Ryan, and I am a second year of primary biology student from Indonesia. And this is my colleague, Jocelyn. Hi, everyone. I'm Jocelyn, also a second year from applied marine biology in, in, from Indonesia. Today, we will be talking a little bit about the campuses that international students use. Um, we have prepared a video. Please start the video. Okay, so starting on, we'll move on from our first campus, which we'll use mainly in the first year, and that is Kawachi campus. So this is just in front of the campus, and along, if you walk, you can find the center area of the campus, where you can find a lot of lecture buildings and the cafeteria building. And then if you just go from the subway, yes, we have a subway station directly connected to our campus, and move along this path here, then you will reach one of the buildings that probably FGL students will use quite the most, which is called the Toku University Global Learning Center. And here, why we use it? Because in the first year, we have a lot of general education classes, and along with the Japanese students, just first years are using the Kawachi campus. And so moving into the Global Learning Center, we'll find the GLC Lounge or the Global Learning Center Lounge. And a lot of FGL students, including us, use this lounge to study, eat, or basically just socialize. And then moving on during the corridor here, we'll find the classroom, which will, again, I reiterate, will take general education classes here. But it is important to mention that we'll also take classes in the general lecture buildings. And if you move on here to the south campus of Kawauchi, then we'll find one of the most popular attractions of this campus is the Tokyo University Main Library. And because this is the main library, you'll find a lot of students here from every different faculty, every different year. And of course, this is the biggest library of the four campuses. And here you can find a lot of collection of books, whether in Japanese or in English, as shown here with the Global Learning Room, which they share a lot of English books collection here and you can just sit there and read and that's basically the end of Kauchi campus and then moving on we'll move on to the Katahira campus which is located in the main city so we'll have to take the subway for that and unlike Kauchi campus we don't have a subway station directly connected to the campus itself so we have to take a walk maybe seven to ten minutes and then here we'll find ourselves inside the AMC building, which of course the AMC students will use. And moving on here, we have the AMC classroom. So basically all of the AMC specialized subjects will be held here in the AMC classroom. And then moving on outside of the AMC building, we'll find the main road of Katahira campus. And as you can see here, the video was taken about mid to late April. So you can see Sakura which is actually one of the main attractions of Katira campus because it has a lot of sakura and even this year they had a light up event. And then here you can see that if we move along, we'll find the, we, you can call it the landmark and then the cafeteria, which is called Sakura Kitchen. And then if we move on just from that, we'll find ourselves back to the city and outside of the campus. Moving on, we'll be going to the Aoboya campus, which is the campus used for both agriculture and engineering. So just like Kawauchi, we have a subway station adjacent to the campus within the campus area. It's about a five to 10 minute walk, depending on where your campus is. Um, so starting off, here is a little path that we, we usually take to the agriculture campus, campus or the faculty of agriculture. So as we start our specialized subjects, we'll be spending most, if not all of our time here for our classes or even for research labs. So all of our teachers are also having their labs here. Oh, this is a very nice campus. It just built uh, 2018, so it's new. Um, and it's huge, as you can see here. We'll show a little bit of the interior. We have the management office right on the right side, which you will see in a minute, right over there right now. Okay. And how, here is the student laboratory. We're actually using this now. Uh, we actually have a lot of fun here. We're doing a lot of dissection, a lot of DNA extraction, also with Japanese students, by the way. So it's a lot of fun. And we also have our AMB classroom. We actually have a lot of classrooms. There's only one of them, one of the many we'll be using. And hopefully you'll be using in the future if you come here. 
Next, uh, out of the campus, if we walk on the right side here, you can see what is known as the Aobaima Commons. It is a free space used by students. You can study, you can do your group meetings. It's actually personally my favorite space because it's really nice. You can also eat or drink here. It's actually very free to use, whatever you want to do. Um, and we also have a cafeteria here, although we're not showing it in the video, but it's also very nice because you have everything you need there, basically. So walking out, we will be continuing to the engineering campus. It is a little bit further from the subway station, so about 10 to 15 minutes. Um, it's been here for a while, so engineering is actually one of the most uh, nicest places. You can also see the IMAQ classroom. Most of the classes used by IMAQ students will be held here, so you'll be spending a lot of time here as an IMAQ student. Moving on, we also have the cafeteria. It is actually a very big cafeteria. Um, as you can see shortly, there are two floors, so you can eat together. And it's cafeteria food is actually very good and also very cheap. It's actually my favorite. And here you can uh, see a bit of the outside of the campus. Next, we have the university house or the dorm that um, international students will be using. First of all, it's very huge. There's a lot of buildings and here we're walking into the management office. So everything regarding the door management will be held here. And we have the UHA Commons, which you can use freely with your friends to eat or drink. And here we have a mini kombini. So you have everything you need. It's always open 24 hours. So you don't need to worry about anything. And now we're entering one of the um, university buildings. It's actually a very big building. You have multiple floors in each building and the di different genders have different floors so you don't need to worry about that. And in each unit, you'll be sharing with other people, some Japanese students and international students. You have everything you need from toilets, washing machines to um, the kitchen. Yeah. So here's just a little bit of the view and you can see Right on the left side here, outside of the uh, dorm, is actually the UHA Commons, the Albaima Commons. And that is all from us today. Thank you all for joining this little trip to our campus. I hope you get a little taste of what our campus feels like, and we'll be waiting for you. So again, thank you very much for listening, and we'll be waiting for you in Tokyo University. Thank you.